communications officer, I think he is, uh, in Matt Bourne. Um, we talk a lot about, um, obviously, what's going to happen on the card, on the night, etc., and Bama's fa- plans for 2015 and 2016. So uh, check it out, and we'll be back to talk about that Bama card. Hi, this is Hazel Gracie, and we are talking with fucking bras. Delighted to welcome on to Talking Brawls MMA.com, a podcast. Matt Bourne, uh, the chief uh, of Bama. Obviously, Bama have a huge card here coming to Dublin on the 19th of September. Uh, Bama 22 at the 3 Arena. First of all, Matt, how are you? Great to have you on the show. Do appreciate your time. No worries. Yes, no, thank you for having me. Um, I'm, I'm quite appreciating the promotion you just gave me, the chief of Bama. I'm actually uh, head of communications, but I'll I'll take chief of Bama. That, <laughs> might, that might mean I get a pay rise. <laughs> Excellent stuff. Uh, you know, we're just speaking off air there, and you said you had a, a media request from Argentina. Is this one of the biggest shows you've, you've put on, considering um, how much mixed martial arts has blown up in Ireland over the last two years? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, um, I mean we've been steadily... Growing back, we you know we, we took um, a bit of a, a bit of a break where we you know rearranged things internally, yeah. and we've been slowly building up to sort of these points. And Ireland was always on the cards, and um, I, I don't think any of us really knew what we were getting ourselves into. And and also you know when we first started talking about it, um, you know the arrival of Conor McGregor hadn't quite happened. Um, you know, things changed dramatically over the last 12 months when, you know, that other organisation dropped yeah. into Dublin last year. Um, so, yeah, since since that point, you know, things have exploded in Ireland, obviously, and we, you know, it was always on our map. Um, and when we said, when we pushed the button and said, yeah, let's do Ireland, um, yeah, things have just gone crazy. Um, I, uh, yeah, I, it, everything, in every direction, from the size of the fight card, um to you know the the media we're doing now to the you know the knock-ons that we get from that the requests i have in my role you know my my social media is you know it was 24 7 anyway but it's now sort of 24 24 (laughs) 7 so uh yeah it's yeah it's it's good though you know we're loving it it's it but it is it is something else you just you just mentioned the size of the fight car there it's it's huge i think there's 21 fights what time are are we going to get going on uh well i did actually suggest in the office the other day we should probably start directly after the weigh-ins because i think that's (laughs) it's going to take that long i don't know um the the plan is about we're, we're loading the doors about half three um you know there, there could be fights drop out you know there's always yeah, injuries course. and stuff so um but if all of them stay on board then you know we're looking at starting about half three four o'clock and then mm. until we finish which could be sometime monday week i you know <laughs> who knows <laughs> matt how have uh, how have ticket sales gone i know you have you some very good partners here on board you've fm one of four dublin's and uh, lancer's largest uh, uh, radio station um what, what's been the feedback so far regarding tickets yeah, no. Again, you know, it, everything's bigger and better with I, with, you know, in Ireland. I mean, we, we we've done you know pretty well over our last couple of events on Bama twenty twenty one, and our original sort of projected numbers I think are pretty much going to be blown out of the water in the next week or so. So um, yeah, we, we yeah, it can only get bigger. I mean, there are some things coming up which we can't talk about, which will probably you know make the event even bigger, and um, you know they'll they'll come about in due course but, you, you, uh, can talk, you, you can talk about these uh, events with me there's no problem <laughs> <laughs> yeah not, not if i want to retain my status as chief of Bama. <laughs> excellent stuff and we look at the fight card itself matt um, obviously there's, yeah. there's, there's a lot of established guys we've uh, fantastic main events Tom Duquanon and Brennan Lachnan mm-hmm. but you've also added a huge amount of guys that Irish people are very very excited about I'm just going to name a few we've, we've uh, you know Patrick Wicks did uh, yep. with James Gallagher um, yep. you know talented kids like that, that that are on the up you know what was the thing was to engage the local crowd and audience um, well, well absolutely I mean you know we, we can't just rock up into Ireland on yeah. our first ever event um, and put on a bunch of guys from, I don't know, Sheffield, London, you know, and, and sack an entire fight. No one's going to want to see that. If they want to see that, we'll do that in the UK, you know. We, but with that being said, we can't go to Ireland and just put on all local guys. We need to have some, var- you know, you have to have a fine blend of local talent, up and coming talent. Mm. We're, we're very much, I mean, if you, if you look at, you know, you look across our signed fighters, a lot of them are under the age of 24. I mean, you know, uh, Tom Dukumar, yeah, 21, yeah, 22. Yeah. You know, um, we're very much into, you know, tomorrow's elite today, uh, you know, for use of a better phrase. 
um, you know, the future is now for us. We, you know, we've got we've got guys who are older on the cards. You know, we've got more experienced yeah. guys. Yeah, of course. But obviously, you know, we're we're looking at you know who's who's coming forward, who's now. You know, we're, we're trying to we, we wanted to get a fine balance, and I think I think we've kind of achieved that. I mean, obviously, we listen to you know sort of guys in Ireland. You know, we obviously spoke to you know the John Cavanaghs, the guys at Team Rhino. Nine, yeah. You know, the uh, Northern Ireland Next Gen, all those guys. You know, we have talked and listened to them and said, right, you know, who should we be? You know, who should we be yeah. getting on the card? Yeah. Um, you know, we got a very long list, and we were like, let's do it, and you know, ended up with twenty-one fights on the card. <laughs> it, um, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. I still can't get my head around it because the amount of press <laughs> releasing I've done, you know, it's uh, it is crazy. But yeah, you have to. You can't just rock up in twenty ten. It's the same in the UK. If we Bama twenty three, which is in Birmingham, yeah. If we go to Bama twenty three and we put a bunch of guys on there from London, from Ireland, from France, from Wales, um, you know, there's no local talent there. Yeah, you wouldn't you, get the You know, you you lose an immediate section of buying. Yeah. Um, you know, so. It's, it's you know it's sensible planning wherever yeah. you go you're going to put the local guys on it's a great um, mi- it's a great yeah. mix of talent and if, if it means we you know we create the next Conor McGregor's then you know that's fantastic um, you know so it's uh, yeah I'm, I'm excited for it I mean a lot of the guys I didn't know of beforehand and I've had to go and research obviously yeah. you know and I see these guys and I'm I'm as excited as some of you guys are so yeah for for this event. You know, I didn't know a lot of the guys on the prelim side of stuff myself, so I had to go and research yeah. um, all the local guys, obviously. And I'm, you know, it's made me as excited as some of you guys are to see these guys now because I've had a look and I can see, you know, what we've got on our hands. So, yeah, it's yeah. going to be massive. Can't wait. There's a, there's a really good mix of talent, of established talent, and then we have the, the young up and coming guys as well. It's a it's fantastic card to look forward yeah. to. Um, you've also done it on a production side, you've added a lot of Irish guys. Into the, into the production. Is that something you, you normally do? Um, again, you know, obviously we, we've done, well, we've done all our events pretty much UK side. So, um, you know, we've it's, it's always easier to get UK guys in. I mean, we've used, we've, you know, we've used ring announcers like Mike Markham, yeah. um, who we've used previously. We flew him from the States and stuff, and, you know, maybe one day we'll be bringing him back. But, yeah, I mean, obviously we're going into a new territory. We, you know, again, it's, it's this part of, it, it comes back to this thing about buying. We mm. can't just rock up bring our entire show on the first hit you know we want to get by and we want to get people wanting to see what we're doing so yeah i mean you know we, we get there and you know it makes more sense because otherwise the the bill for all the flights and the hotels uh, yeah. goes That's a little a- bit nuts as well we have to look at the you know as much as you guys want to see the front end we have to take care of the back end as well because you know if that bill goes up too high then you know who knows what could happen you know we don't want to kill ourselves on the first show yeah it's great stuff you have a lot of people on your side anyway at the moment talk to me about the logistics Matt of getting everything over here all the fighters um, and bringing the cage obviously has that been a, a, a bit of a, a pain in the arse especially with an arena like the tree arena well no because uh, well I say no that's a bit you know it's a bit cavalier but um, not really because obviously we do we do arenas so yeah. we know the setup um, you know and again you know we've spoken to the local promoters we know you know we know guys I think I believe and don't quote me because I, I don't deal with this specifically but I think we're getting a cage that's based in Ireland so we're bringing okay. one in from locally um, we do have our own cage in the UK that we use but obviously flying that all out yeah. um, is logistically ain't great but um, yeah I mean we use the same logistics company each time and they pretty much take all that off our hands um, and you know they're fantastic I mean he the, the the company we use also does you know like the Rolling Stones concerts and uh, you know everybody from TNA Wrestling to to Rod Stewart to Neil Diamond to you know you name yeah. it he does all the big the big stuff um, so you know they take care of all of that for us so we pretty much rock up with our crew um, and yeah, and then jobs are good, and we could just get on and put on the show for you guys. What I've noticed with Bam a lot as well, the production levels has obviously got better and better each time um, of the show itself. Has it been more uh, emphasis on that with the, the new TV deals, obviously with Spy TV um, and things like that? Is that something you've had to really uh, to, to, to revamp and vamp up? Well, yeah, I mean, again, you know, the seeds have always been there. We, we always wanted to do yeah. the big kind of, and, you know, we want to be more of not just turning up and watch, watching a bunch of guys, you know, punching each other in the face. If you want that, you can go to any show, you know. So we need, we wanted to ramp up the uh, entertainment side of stuff. Yeah, so definitely. again, you can't do it from show one. If you if you're going to go in and you know blast your you know 
<laughs> it's budgetary stuff, you know. You got yeah. you got to be sensible. We've so we worked to the point of Bama Twenty. We knew where we were going with Spike and um, and Bama Twenty. We knew that point from you know a good year or so out before that. Um, again, this period where we went quiet, where people thought, oh, they shut up shop. We, no, we had plans. We knew what yeah. we were doing, and everything pointed to. Bama 20 and the Spike TV deal and then we went right when we get Spike TV we need to make an impact and you know we had the fighters we just had to present them in a way that going to make you know your casual fan want to watch because you're always going to get you're always going to get you know your diehards turning up and there are going to be those who like you those who don't but it's the it's the casual fans who might flick over and go oh what's this they're the kind of people you that you want to attract and if they're just watching a you know a show in you know a another building and it's just like I said before, a couple of guys punch themselves in the face with this, you know, <laughs> there, there's, there's, yeah. you know, a diamond doesn't for that. So you've got to make yourself stand out. So that's kind of where we went with that. And it's good fun for us because it looks, you know, it looks amazing for you. It looks amazing for us. You know, I, I sit there because I'm, I'm always cage cyber. I'm doing all the uh, social media online yeah. and stuff. And uh, I sit there and I just, sometimes I sit back and go, you know, wow, that, that, that looks good. You know, you're not trying to sound arrogant, but you're kind of like, damn we've put on something here you know yeah awesome stuff and, and you're an organization obviously you like to bring in big names for your events as well i've seen like colin best and, and the likes at, at other events is there anyone lined up for for bama 22 in dublin well we do but again <laughs> i, I don't really want to say because <laughs> the worst thing in the world is especially with some of these big names is um you know you can announce them and then Pull they don't out. turn up because yeah. of their schedules and stuff uh, david hay will be there okay um, is he going to be know, in the booth again yeah, he'll be yeah he'll be presenting yeah, yeah. so um, and he may be coming over a little bit earlier as well to sort of do a few sort of uh, media engagements. So uh, yeah, no, David's definitely I can I can confirm David will definitely be there. Um, but there will be there will be some very familiar names and faces on the night. I'm hoping. Um, Good stuff. Yeah, definitely looking forward. To it. I mean, you mentioned earlier on uh, we were talking about TV deals. Is there a deal in place for yeah. for for Ireland? Um, it's not 100%. We are talking to people. Um, and again, I don't deal with that. So it would uh, it would not be smart of me to say, oh, yeah, we're talking to these and we're talking to these people um, and stuff up the deal because then, again, I would be shot and out of the job. So um, <laughs> I, I can say, yeah, we are talking to people, but I can't confirm anything because I don't actually know is the honest answer what is confirmed and what isn't. So, Fair But, enough. yeah, we, we are looking at it. And it's not just for this event. It will be a long-term thing as well. Brilliant. So, Brilliant. Yep. That's absolutely awesome. And as well, we've the first ever women's bout in, in Bama. We've uh, Ireland's yeah. Catherine Costigan versus um, So Kopova, I think her, her name is the, the pronunciation. I say Su Kopova, but I don't know if I'm right either. So. <laughs> we'll, we'll have to find that one out. Yeah, I, we'll bet find you... that out when, when the announcer shouts it out. We'll go, all oh, right, it's yeah. that. Okay, <laughs> it's a historic night, obviously as well. Um, and yeah. Ka- Catherine's a lady who promotes herself ex- extremely well. Um, That's obviously, understatement of the year. Yeah. yeah, she's absolutely brilliant. From you know, j- just everything from media aspect to to, to the engaging with the fans, social media, everything. And she's just fantastic, and, I, yeah. and we know Catherine well, obviously. Um, th- that's a really historic night uh, for, for Bama as well, having their the first mm. ever women's fight. Yeah, absolutely. It's. Um yeah, it's massive. Uh, you know, women's bouts is something that we've talked about again for a long time, and it's it, it's just fine. It was finding the right moment and the, and the, right, and the right person. Yeah, is Catherine yeah. that person? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. You know, when when we were first approached with Catherine's name, um, you know, we were like, well, if we're going to do it, you know, that's the woman, that's the lady. You know, she, you know, she like you said, you know, she promotes like nobody else. I mean, she's currently putting the entire rest of the fight guard to shame. Yeah. Um, you know, my 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 social media feeds every single day. All I see is Catherine on there, um, and she is absolutely amazing. Is all I can say. I mean, she's got herself in you know Woman's Way, which apparently yeah. is you know the biggest women's magazine in Ireland. You know, she's been in the Irish Independent. You know, she's been in the Mirror. She's everywhere. You know, and so absolutely, it was the right decision to bring women on, and absolutely, it was the right decision to use Catherine. Yeah, she's going to attract a huge audience. She's, yeah, she's a big fan base here in Ireland. For the, for the rest of the year, you, you've mm. United Champions come up, you've a lot of big, big events still to come. You know, what are you expecting from 2016? Uh, are you going to, you know, is the plan to do more shows and, and maybe do Ireland on a regular basis? Um, yes, absolutely. Um, my immediate plan is to survive. 
2015 <laughs> and the last few shows um, because you would not believe the amount of stress in a good way that we deal with um, and all the craziness that goes along with it. I mean, I'm, I'm currently just hoping to survive Ireland. Um, you know, if, if, you know if, if what I've seen so far is anything to go by, it's going to be absolute insanity all weekend. So, um, yeah, I, you know, yeah, we have. We've, we've got big plans for 2016. 2015 was big for us, or is big for us. Still a lot to go as well. Like it's, yeah, still, still a lot to go. I mean, Night of Champions, um, you know, we're nowhere near done announcing title fights or the prelims cards. I mean, people are going to be shocked at fights that are on the prelims because you know, you're, going to, you're going to look at them and go, hang on, how can that not be on the main cards? You know, it's, it, it's that insane at the moment. Um, I mean, the three title fights we've announced already are massive fights. Mm. Uh, you know, the... the Mark Godbeer versus Ruben yeah. Wolf. I mean, you know, you can, yeah, it's it's huge, and and you've got that you know England Germany rivalry built in. It's it's going to be noisy in Birmingham on that night for sure. And then you've got Ed Arthur, who you know, what a talent, yeah, yeah. I mean, that kid is going places, and so is Shay Walsh. You know, I shouldn't you know I shouldn't forget Shay. Shay Shay is a legitimate threat for Ed. I mean, he's going to be you know every time they say, oh, it's my toughest fight. This is genuinely Ed's toughest fight to date, yeah. and, and that's what I love about Ed. He doesn't back down from it and go, oh, I'll take an easier fight for my first. No, he, you know, he, he said, yeah, let's do it. You know, mm. didn't bat an eyelid, said, let's do it. I want to see how good I am, you know? And that's what I love about Ed. And Ed talks a good fight. I mean, this guy has had more call outs for his title anyone, since, yeah. since he won it, more than Mike Bisping gets. I mean, it, it's ridiculous. Um, I mean, last count, I was up to about 13 call outs, I think he's had from different <laughs> people. Uh, it's, you know, and, you know, the guy won the belt within five minutes. Everybody's yeah. on. I'm going to fight him. I want to fight him. You know, people are changing weight classes to fight him. Yeah. It's is crazy. Absolutely crazy. But, yeah, going to, so getting to your original point, which was 2016, <laughs> um, yeah, no, we're, it's it, it's going to be a big year. Yeah, And, you know, the gauntlet to lay down to the Irish fans is, you know, make it worth our while to come back. I mean, yeah. yes, we are planning to come back. Um, and, you know, if Ireland works out well in September, which I believe it will, then, you know, we're going to, we're not just going to come back once a year. We'll be there, you know, two, three times a year. Um, you know, like it's, it, it's stupid not to. You know, the, the Irish fans are, you know, hugely into their mixed martial arts. Once a year is not good enough. Yeah. You know, yeah. we want to bring what Bama brings. And, you know, if that means we establish ourselves, you know, as, as the big event for, for Ireland, then great. I mean, we've got to go at Belfast, you know, we're yeah. doing Dublin. We've got to, we've got to go at Belfast. Can't, can't not go there. Oh, don't, um, don't worry so, about Belfast. It's grand. You can come here. Yeah, no, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, you know, it, it really was. It really was a coin toss for yeah. the first for the first event. You know, it's, was it Belfast? Was it Dublin? We were fifty fifty split in the office over. You know, who went which where we went. You know, yeah. it was so, and it, it sort of literally just came down to well, if we do Dublin this time, we'll do Belfast next time, and if we do Belfast, so you know, and the decision was made Dublin. So we went. You know, we we came to Dublin. So. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's awesome. It, but yeah, no, we it's Ireland Ireland needs bigger shows, you know, it deserves bigger shows. The mm. the fans the fans put themselves out there, you know, thousands of you travel out to Las Vegas. Why why should you have to do that? We can bring, you know, the next Conor McGregor's of this world yeah. to you and, you know, save you your plane flights. Mm. And uh, you know, our tickets are cheaper. I should point this out. <laughs> the cheapest seat is twenty euro and that's, you know, less than a euro a fight currently. That's awesome. So so you know? it's really about solidifying your status in different regions in Europe. Is there going to be expansion to other regions? We look at you have a huge amount of French fighters um, oh, yeah. on your roster as yeah. well. Obviously, it's not legal in France at the moment, but once it's legalised, I'm sure that's you know an area you're oh, going to look at. Oh, absolutely. I mean, you know, the hour that if and when it gets legalised in in France, and I understand that's that could be happening yeah. sooner rather than later. You know, obviously. We've got, you know, we've got um, Czech Kone, we've got Tom Dukenwa as yeah. our champions, you know, we've got Mansour Barnoumi. How could we not go into France? That that would be, you know, legitimately nuts not to. Um, but yeah, to answer your question, yeah, we are. We're um, we're we're, on, we're looking at several different places across Europe. Mm. I mean, you know, we're we're saying we're the biggest in Europe. You can't sit, you know, in your own backyard and say we're the biggest in Europe unless you go to Europe. So yeah, it is. There's, there's nothing solid to announce. We can't say, yes, we're definitely going yeah. here yet, but we are talking with various places, um, awesome. various countries and stuff, you know. So um, that, that's a case of watch this space and hopefully we'll have some news in the not too far distant future. Definitely, Matt. It's been a real pleasure to have you on the show. And where can the, obviously the fans can uh, get their tickets on uh, information on, on Bama.com? 
yeah absolutely go to bam.com there's you know there's there's ticket links on there everything all the information you need to know you can get all the fighter information you need to know everything you need all in one place or hit us up on our social medias exactly. um, we're on facebook at bammy uk we're on twitter and pretty much everywhere else is bammer so um yeah just uh, search us out and uh, come and say hello Definitely, Matt. I'm really looking forward to the fight card in September. Can't wait for it. Uh, it's a really, really great night of fights. And do appreciate your time, my friend. No, that's all right. And I'm particularly looking forward to having you uh, backstage with with uh, Georgia. I can't it's wait. Yeah, be, um, it's been a bit. Yeah, the, uh, yeah. You've got you've got some shoes to fill there with Mr. Giorgio <laughs> not being in. Yeah. So uh, it's it's going to be good fun, I think. Um, yeah, I'm still trying to work out the challenge. I should add. Yeah. Me? So if any of your listeners have ideas, <laughs> then let us know. Um, I'm perfectly open to challenges. Um, preferably ones that don't involve alcohol. Um, but, you know, we'll, we'll take it as it comes. So, yeah, it's going to be good. And I'm looking forward to seeing you all soon. Yeah, definitely so. It's a, it's a big honour for me, too. I really do appreciate uh, the offer, Matt, and massively looking forward to it. Thanks a million again for the time. No worries.